Hi, welcome to my run through of my fanzines, my modern fanzines. I'm not going to go through the ones I've gotten from the 70s and 80s, but these ones I've got, bought fairly recently. So let's just go through them. This one's a really good one Battle in Britain. Now, I haven't got every single issue of all these fanzines. The selection I've got here, that's it. So, Battle in Britain's, it's really, really good. Lots and lots, it's of course all war comics, 2000 AD, et cetera, goes into the war. But also, of course, those lovely little commando books and many, many others. But I think this is a nice little series. Air War special issue, and they, of course, like with all these fanzines, they have certain topics they run through. And I, very nice quality books. And you can see there the list of all the various things. Now, quite often the biggest problem with these books, as much as I love them, is that they're printed in Great Britain by Amazon. I always wonder, I think in maybe 10 or 20 years time, I dread to see, think what the condition these will be in. Because already you can see the good old bending of the page. I just don't like that. Typical sort of, there's a certain format that, I think. anyway, let's just move that out of the way. Here's another one. This one is slightly bigger. This one's the War Machine, Pocket Rockets, uh, Science Fiction book, Pocket Books, Star Blazer, and again, Great little quality, lovely little selection of stories there. Pocket Rockets, Star Blazer, all loads of other ones as well. And again, a lovely little issue. Now, I don't know what... Now, this is vol this is one of the confusions I quite often find. Volume 2, Issue 4. I always feel that maybe it should have been just Volume 1 or just go with Issue 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 9, you know. But it starts getting confusing about sometimes with some of the issues. I'm not really certain. I've got a couple that I'm really confused about and I'm just going to get to them later. This one's just come paperback fanatic. I love this. Issue 47. It's got a lot of great articles in it. Now, they've gone for a bigger format, which unfortunately doesn't fit on my shelves particularly well, but still, just I normally have to put them up above. But most of them, obviously, are always in this format, but now they've gone for this, which is fine, but still... Lovely quality book. And the worst thing about these books, again, is always the thing, well, I didn't get to that. I wish I'd got to it. I would have loved to have gone to it, but I didn't. And that's the uh, Payback Hero. You find out about books and you think, oh no, that's another book that I'm just going to have to buy. But still, I love this. Downsizing. Can't beat that quite often. When I'm reading that, I'm always having a good chuckle because I feel the same with all my stuff. I love some of those books as well. Fall of the Roman Empire. They've got there, the sex set, the Pharaoh's <laughs> destiny, the sex and the sun king. Lots of obviously great novels there. And also, paperbacks there. Actually, there's a really good one. Oh, oh no, that's, I think that's another one. I love the Conan one. That was good. I've read quite a few of these Conan ones. Some are good, as they mentioned in here. Some are terrible. But still. Also, I love this one, the candy one. Actually, you know what? I've never seen a paperback candy. Well, I might have done. I don't know. Certainly can't remember. But this one, really great issue. As I say, I think it's fairly recent. Don't know if it says. Probably, yes, July 2023. You can see the details there. And you can see the sort of range of articles in that. Here's another battle in Britain. Now, I haven't got any record ones. I don't know. If you've got any comments, please put in the comments below. Ones I haven't bought any. I think it's the Sleazy Reader. And there's a, there's a couple. I haven't got them all. It's just too many. But there's, and also, of course, there's Western ones. But I was thinking maybe there might be some sort of similar ones for comics. The closest, of course, is this, which I will go through. But in there must be others. And likewise, records. There must be similar sort of things, record covers and things. I don't know. But another one, Battle in Britain. This one's Dredger. And also mentioned quite often lots of things that I've never heard of. So this is the great thing about it. And then, of course, you have to go and look for more information about it. But it's really, really good read. Thorough and job, really decent quality magazine. Now, let's just go through one of these Past Perfects. I love these. Past Perfect, and often I buy the specials. I haven't looked recently. I expect there's more specials. There's He's doing this what, series about Avengers. I really must check out if he's brought out the next volume of that one. But Past Perfect, Logan's Run, that was the reason I bought it, because it's got a great article all about Logan's Run. One of my favorite films. And also favourite uh, books, as well as a series of three, of course. And also the comic books that I loved as well. And also has other things like Tornado, She-Hulk. Oh, here's some of the ones. This one, Avengers Assemble. Really good. And also other, other books as well. So a whole range of different topics covered in that. Oh, here's one, Films. Now, I haven't bought... I think this is the only one I've got, Films. But uh, 
quite interesting. This cinema of the 70s, again, there's a, just a point where you just think, you can't buy everything as much as it would be nice. But you, of course, got their Bond and, of course, many others as well. Star Trek. I'm not certain one of the reasons I bought it. I think I just happened. When I was looking through, I thought, oh, which one do I want to go for? Probably because of Star Trek. I love that film. It's not everyone's favourite, but I've enjoyed it. Deep Dive into Deep End. That was a great film. Jane Asher. Of course, Jane Asher, Deep End. Brilliant film as well. Love that one. And many, many others. And so that cinema of the 70s. Really quite good. I think there's other ones. Cinema of the 80s. I don't know if it's a series of cinema of the 60s. I'd probably buy that if that was available. Now, this is a weird one. Again, I haven't got many of these, but I've got uh, Bedabbled, British Horror and Cult Cinema. And again, really good book. Lots and lots of uh, The Cult of Satan there and, they, and loads of other articles in there. It's just, I think it's Blood Sucking Freaks, Hammer, Dracula, Hits of the 70s. Lots and lots of pictures and various things in the best. Now, I've got a couple of these and I'm just going to... Oh, i just got one. <laughs> Bedazzled. This is issue six. And I think maybe this is the one where I got... Maybe it's also bare bones. The numbering system seems to be utterly confusing. I'm not really certain about numbering. So whenever I look, I think, have I got that one? So I have to quickly check and see that I haven't. So bedabbled. And again, lots of great picks. I think that's obviously that's performance. And yeah, performance and servant, of course. Lovely little article there about that, as well as the right kind of person paying a visit to the house that dripped blood. And of course, you've got the posters and those sort of things on the back. Well, let's go. One is one. Now, this one's a Spider-Man special, a Past Perfect special. I always enjoy them. Great series. The list from Past Perfect. Whenever I got one, get one of these. It always sends a long list of all the various things. And quite impressive long list. You've got Vampirella ones as well. Also, many others. So it's great that it goes through all of the Ditko Spider-Man. Nothing can stop the Sandman. Yeah, got a bit of, obviously the Lizard, Craven the Hunter, and so on. I love, always love the comments. They're great. Always, quite often I agree, quite a lot of comments. Sometimes I don't, but quite a lot of it I think, wow, that's great observations. And that's the thing I like about the whole thing about these. And also some of the sort of mentions, various things. I would think, yeah, I hadn't thought about it that way before. So it's uh, always good. Oh, there on the back. So past perfect there. And Vampy. The Vampy, the daughter of Draculon. So that's a there. Oh, this one, a Christmas special. No, I don't know. Well, I think it's all Christmas. I love that. Terrific annual, 1969. Obviously a volume I've been looking for for years. So it's really great that, anyway, it doesn't really exist as far as anyone knows. It was mentioned somewhere. Terrific annual, 1969, and um, I think people have been looking for it for ages. Maybe they were going to bring it out. Maybe there's some draft volume of it. Who knows? Maybe one day. Anyway, one of those things. And also, of course, cover story there, and all the other ones that are on sale now. Obviously, they're not now. Pal, Smash, Wham, and Eagle and Boy's World. Actually, part of the series. Creatures, I love that one. Gulliver Jones, great little series. One of those ones I've always felt there should be a volume of. Don't know why no one's brought out a volume of those yet. Really enjoy that series. I've got them all in, obviously, the original comics, but it would be nice to see a proper volume of them. Paperback Fanatic number 44. Now, I'm never certain exactly why I buy particular issues. There's one of Conan. I think it's issue 41. And I think, why haven't I bought that yet? I bought this one. Still. Got some great covers again. And they're very nice quality. Also, some illustrations in here, which I think is always just great. But the covers, that's the main reason. And also the comments. I mean, all the various discussions about the books are always fascinating to read. So it's just absolutely great. They're decent quality. I wouldn't say that they're, you know, super, super pristine. You can actually see it. But it's, you know, absolutely fine. The Year of the Comment. I remember that one. Meteor. Also Freeze. What's that one? Holmes. Draclafar. Vector. Now, some of these covers I remember. I remember that one. The Nightmare Factor. And I remember that one as well, The Pillars of Midnight. Now, I didn't buy them all. Quite a lot of them I didn't buy. But uh, there was a great bookshop in Reading I loved going to, Keegan's Bookshop. And they used to have zillions and zillions of paperbacks. And I was always picking up paperbacks there. The Fog, of course, classic one. And so on. And uh, so it's always great going through all these. And I think, oh, I remember some of those. Now, some of these other ones I don't. All the Lancer books and those sort of ones. I had a few Lancer books, but not that many American books. I should have bought more. 
but I never went to book fairs or anything to pick up those sort of things. And I think that they, you know, they might have turned up in sort of some charity shops or whatever. But more often than not, you never find these. Well, I never did anyway. Maybe other people did, but I certainly didn't. Now, this one's a slightly thinner one. What's this one? Pers I'm not even certain, actually. Oh, this is one of the catalogues. I was going to say, because it looks very... can't remember actually particularly reading this one. You can see here, Past Perfect. I love his catalogue. It's just great. You can see all the long list of like the Avengers, Enchantress, all the Magnus, Black Widow. Really, really... And look, you've got the order form, of course. Really worth checking out. If you're interested in UK comics, American comics, I think this book, these books are absolutely brilliant. So really worth checking out. All of these ones, Christmas specials you've got here, reprint series, like I say, you've got the Vampy series. And he runs through all of the Vampirella books, which are really great. And here's one, the Vampirella books. Vampy! Now, I don't know which number one is. Oh, this is number... Issue two. Yeah, issue two. Daughter of Dracula. I didn't buy them all. I've got most of the, the actual stories I just thought I'm not going to get all of them. But it's still, again, great read through this. Love, obviously, you've got the covers there. Also, some of the artwork there which is always great, and also Lilth and Vampirella, again, just a really beautiful book. And you've got Star Trek. Actually, I'm surprised you've never done a Star Trek. Lots of, well, it probably has. And also Phantom. And you can see lots of details there. There. Oh, this one, Thunder Agents. I love that series, that, those books. So that was the reason I got this one. Thunder Agents, all those sort of, No Man, those sort of, brilliant. Oh, and Time Slip. It's got times that there, fantastic for trapped by doom. Oh, yeah, that's one thing. I, I always think that's one thing that would be nice, and maybe he's done that quite a lot. I don't know where well, you've got that, and then you've obviously got the original comic. Because, of course, in the UK, we often had the covers, things taken from different places for the like Mighty World of Marvel. You'd have a cover, you think, where did that come from? And I would love to see a book actually go through all those sort of ones where, you, where did this picture? Because sometimes I look at it and think, was that drawn by someone from the UK? I'm certain some of them were. Sometimes they weren't. Or well, there was always bits of the cover that see. And likewise, there's always quite often you see online lots of these covers where it shows the American cover and you show sort of like Brazilian cover or something. And you think, hmm, strange. There's lots of other bits and pieces aside. You know, was that artwork sort of a bit further out or something that we didn't see? You've got Iron Mud in here. You've got, got the Sensational She-Hulk. Love that, that blonde phantom series. Of course, TV21 mentioned in here and past perfect there again on the back lesion obviously there and oh probably this looks like another one no it's not it's a slightly thinner one but still this is one pound fifty this was number 31 and again just great fantastic of course i love the fantastic magazine that was one of the, my favorite comments. i would get that oh and you've got here iron man battles melter part two of the iron man's epic duel against the I just think, great. Every week, in terrific. Oh, what's that? That's very strange. I love the way they've done that. Sort of changed a bit. Very odd. That's one of the things always got me, the way they would do, redo certain things. They would often do presidents and things. They would change it. But oh, this is quite unusual. But you've got little stickers as well, which I think is quite good. I love power. Pow. And also, of course, another fantastic there. I'll say. Wonderful issues. Uh, the Wonderful Wasp. This is all the... Now, does that, I think this is the reason I bought it, because it's got all the stories. A series that... I think they've done it in the Marvel Women's Omnibus collection. I think all of the Wasp stories are there, and probably obviously in the epics. But I don't... Because they still haven't brought out an Ant-Man and Giant-Man Omnibus edition. What an oversight. <laughs> I know probably no one would buy it. I would buy it, but probably many people wouldn't. Got Defenders here. Who remembers Scorpio? Just about remembering. TV Century 21, of course. And, of course, again, TV 21. I bought them occasionally. I would, they were seven old pennies. And, of course, terrific. But, again, oh, saying that, the other one was seven old pennies. This is nine pennies. Wow. That was expensive. Terrific. 28th of October, 1960. Good old porcupine. Well, just recently, I just picked up the, well, get in, in the post at the moment, a Spider Woman omnibus, which doesn't exist in the UK. And the reason I bought it, well, the reason I loved the series of those Spider Woman stories and add Porcupine in that great character, become obviously more of a hero character, sort of, than uh, before. But the thing about it is a Spanish volume, which I can read Spanish, so that's okay. So, but it's just one of those things I thought, oh, you know what, I'm going to get that. 
maybe they might bring in that, you know, a UK version, you know, a US version. Who knows? I don't know why. I quite often you see volumes in Spain. You think, why isn't that available here? The Inferior 5. Fantastic versus Terrific. It was never a competition for me. I bought both. I loved Fantastic and I loved Terrific. Edgar Rice Burroughs, the Martian series. And this one, good old Grey Gargoyle. <laughs> one of my least favourite characters. But still, oh, got lots and lots of detail about obviously the Princess of Mars and those sort of things. And of course, all the Nell books. I would love, I truly would love to see a massive volume of all the Nell covers. All those book covers, they were just some of the best. Some of my favourites, Princess of Mars, just Thuvia Maid of Mars, the John Carter of Mars, Synthetic Men of Mars, but not just those ones, all the Brian Aldis covers, so many Dune ones, they were just brilliant. I absolutely think they're amazing. And also, pow there, Sergeant Fury, war action thrills. Now, I don't know why it took so long for the mighty world of Marvel, Spider-Man, all those sort of ones, to bring out Sergeant Fury. To me, I think some of these Sergeant Fury stories are some of the best. I, I think they're brilliant. And I think it was a massive oversight that they should have brought those out. They did later. There were some more comics, but coming was cool now. Didn't buy any copies. By that time, I wasn't buying so many UK copies. Anyway, I've got one issue, I think. Fury. I think it was just called Fury. Just comes to mind. Anyway, Planet of the Apes on TV. Every episode, I got. I love Planet of the Apes. Great to I've got so many books and bits and pieces about Planet of the Apes and TV series, obviously. And also, of course, the film series. Just great. Not so much of the new ones. They're okay. Nothing wrong. But they're not as good. I think I still prefer the... But I've also been reading on the Kindle Unlimited a load of great plan. I mean, there's so many books on Kindle Unlimited, weird ones like that, and just huge volume, about two volumes, about the Planet of the Apes. And uh, also they've got the Planet of the Apes, the archives as well, one volume of. That's a great series as well. So you've got here, see the Planet of the Apes there, and you've got all the... And again, I love the comments. I love all the what happens, etc, etc, all the details, under the makeup, verdict, etc. Just brilliant, absolutely. Well, it's not all about that, but that's a fair amount. Obviously, there's She-Hulk, and She-Hulk there. And on to the next one. This one is about TV21, which, obviously, I didn't, like I say, I didn't buy vast amounts of them. So that's why I like this book. It's really quite nice. And I never realised it was such a football one as well. Never, ever thought about it being a football one. I mean, all the score and, you know, those sort of ones, Scorcher, etc. I love those. Football action, Charles Buchanan or whatever it was, and those sort of things. They were great. But uh, it's still really nice to see, obviously, some examples. There. And again, a series of books that quite, you know, you can find at comic conventions. It'd be nice if some people brought out sort of some volumes of all these ones. Obviously, some have, but not all. Obviously, Burnley there. And... Other ones. And of course, there's lots of little stories that probably have never been reprinted that would be nice. Obviously, the, probably the Star, the Star Trek archives, you can get those. don't know if there's... I've, I've got a couple of the Star Trek archives of the UK ones. But uh, Ringo Kid and those sort of... I mean, weird. Ringo Kid. That was a series that was very odd. Never really... I didn't even realise it was a Marvel Comics one. Obviously it was, but I didn't at the time. So, uh, and also Spider-Man, of course. The Spider-Man, no less. Not the Amazing Spider-Man, the Spider-Man. Again, great little series, Avengers Assemble. This one's Captain, it's got all the, obviously, the early tales, Thor, and it also gives you a lot of details, the back, background, all the various early appearances as well. Space Phantom, I had that issue. I still regret getting rid of it. That is one I regret getting rid of. I sold it for very little as well. And it's like, I think, oh, it was in really good condition as well. Hold on, what can you do? Of course, I love, that was one of my favourites. The Angel and Iron Man. Really, really good one. And then I always love it. The Angel and X-Men appear. This story is sort of courtesy of uh, the editors of X-Men magazine and the Avengers. Special, special arrangement. That's always good, isn't it? Oh, Captain America, of course, the first, first one back in the 1940s. Oh, Thunder Agents. It's a, obviously a special for Thunder Agents. Again, all the stories, or every issue, it says there, of Thunder Ocean, Dynamo and No Man, reviewed in full. I just love picking those ones up. Don't get it, I haven't got them all. I've got about five or ten. I have over the time bought other issues and I've also had some of the volumes 
because there's an archive series as well. But again, Thunder Agents, great little stories. Really worth checking out if you're a fan of Wallywood's artwork, especially, of course, the Iron Maiden, not the band. Now, this one is Paperback Fanatic, and this is number 45. Uh, this one's the 69 Pleasures, Things, The Spy Who Didn't. I don't know what he didn't, but anyway, again, lots and lots of information about all these books, and even more books. I love these sort of things. And actually, I think, oh, this one was slightly done differently. Bell, yes, this was a special. I would love to see more of these sort of ones when it's really concentrated on a particular one. Obviously, it depends, I, I guess, on the, of the material that's available. If you haven't got all the books, I, I guess. But Belmont and those ones, obviously, just great to see all those covers. The Unearthed People. And I remember seeing many of these. Masters of Science Fiction. Love that. Oh, I love that one. High Camp Superheroes. In fact, I think I've probably got it somewhere. <laughs> Don't know. The Shadow. Skullduggery. And so on. Just loads of the Moon People. Wizard of Storms. Just great. Absolutely brilliant. That. And quickly goes through the last couple. Bare Bones, the best of. And this is really good as well. Loads of great little articles. Not so many pictures, but still some really great articles. The best of Bare Bones. But I think I found, like I say, the numbering was a bit confusing. Because let's see, I'm just going to point this out. Ah, oh, see, this is the thing. Number five. Number five. Winter 2021. Number seven, summer of 2021. Okay. That comes number five is confused. Confused.com, as they would say. I mean, just absolutely great books. Nothing wrong with it, just the numbering. And in quite a, there's a few other places I just think, I don't know. What? Hey? And also, of course, and then, let's just point it out even weird, because, you know, they don't come out that often. And then number 10. So what happened to number eight and nine? <laughs> they came out quite quickly. And then you got the spring 2022. Maybe it's just me misunderstanding the ordering, but it, it just confused me. I must admit when I, I thought, Ooh, Nightmare Alley, I enjoyed that film. That was good. And I love that book as well. Splinter of the Mind's Eye, Alan Dean Foster. So that's really great as well. And of course, got the Star Wars books there. And I got some really good book covers. Actually, that's one of my favourite. I love that. Light of the Jedi. I haven't read it yet. It's still sitting there. I was thinking, I will get around to read it at some point. I think a lot of people put weird comments about it saying, but the cover, I just love the cover. I don't know why. The cover just looks great. Verdict magazine. And Monsters. I loved all the black and white magazines, of course. Monsters Unleashed. Those ones. So, back there you can see the list. I think the Marvel University, etc., etc. Monsters Unleashed. I think that was probably the main reason I got it, but still, great cover of well for the Star Wars. So that's a run through of things. So which ones have you got? Have you got a vast number of them as well, or you got a few, you picked up a few, or maybe you don't buy them at all. Maybe you think, no, nope, I'm not going to get those ones. Obviously, a lot of the resources are online. You could say, oh, but the thing is, it's just great to get an article, people discussing it, sort of reading through it. That's the same I always think with things like YouTube videos as well, where people discuss a particular topic. Yes, you could find it all online, but it's nice to actually get sort of these sort of books where people put their joy and enthusiasm for a particular subject. And you think, oh, you know what? I hadn't explored that area. It's like records. I love, you can pick up books and you can literally explore a vast amount of things. Suddenly I'm, I'm going for a current period of jazz, sort of mod period, 1958, 59, that sort of period. And I just love sort of going to all those records and finding loads of acts that I've just never heard of, or disco and glam music or whatever, those sort of things. I think, oh, that's an unusual track that I've never heard. So exactly the same with books. It's just great to explore. And these books, I think, bring that to the table. They, they give you a sort of a whole range of doing... Um, and sometimes it's even more expensive because you end up looking around. Because quite a few of these books are not cheap. If you go and look for Belmont ones or those sort of more unusual books, they are sometimes pricey. But anyway, hope fans have of interest. Uh, any questions, any thoughts about this, about the books, the fanzines? Do you like these things? Would you like to do one? Maybe you should be... I always think to myself, what would I produce a fanzine about? Occasionally toy with it, but I just don't think I've got one the time 
all the material, the material to go through all those sort of things. So I think it's uh, I think it's left, best left for people who have actually got a vast collection of those sort of books and records, which I really don't have. Bye.